Hello and welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world. As you're joining us to complete the queue, we have completed the first and second floor of our pretend building, and we're working on completing the top floor. The top floor is considered the third floor on the queue, but we're doing something different. In step seven, we are working on solving the, not just the shingles of the roof, but we are now focusing on, on solving the outward facing stickers on the third upper floor. In step five and six, we ignore the outward facing stickers that were on the third floor, the top row, so that we can just focus on creating a smooth surface on top. Now we're ready with step number seven to start working on creating columns. What do I mean by that? We will be considering that each of these columns on the side here is going to be a three layered structure. In other words, we're going to make sure that our corner pieces on the top floor are going to be rotated in such a way that they are in the correct final position. Step seven is going to put all the corner pieces exactly where they need to be on the third floor. We're going to start number seven, step number seven, by looking to see if we have any corner pieces already in their final place. Do we have outward facing stickers on both of the corners that are consistent? On any face, on any outward facing side, front, back, left and right, we're going to look for position buttons, numbers seven and nine, as they relate to a numerical keyboard. Our cube is going to remain standing upward so that our bottom cross that we did in step two is facing downwards and our solved top layer is going to be on top with the exception of course not having the third row completed all the way around our first and second floor are done and on each of the outward facing sides we're going to look to see if any of the two corner pieces in position number seven and nine of a numerical keyboard are they the same are they matching at this point in time i do not have any corner pieces that are matching at least on one face. That's okay. We're going to perform this algorithm now. It doesn't matter which way the front face is, uh, is pointing at this point because all of the corner pieces are not in their correct aligned position. We're going to perform an algorithm that is L prime U R U prime, L, U, R prime, R, U, R prime, U, R, U two, R prime. Our top face is still smooth and consistent. Our two bottom floors are the same, they haven't changed. And our bottom floor, the underside, the bottom face is still consistent in the same. Okay, we're going to do the same thing by checking for two outward facing stickers on the corners. We will examine each face to see if buttons number seven and nine are consistent. Do they have something in common? Are they the same? Here is one face where we have two buttons on the corners, the stickers that are on the corners are the same. So buttons number seven and nine are the same. It doesn't matter if the middle edge piece, in other words, button eight, is not the same. We're going to turn the upper face clockwise or counterclockwise so that we now have what appears to be a column. Position number seven on the front face is also aligned so that our Position number nine on the left face is also matching the centerpiece on the left side. 
Therefore, we have a proper pollen that is completely finished on the left side of our front face. Let me reiterate that in a different way. Buttons number seven, number four, and number one on the numerical keypad on the front face are the same. They are in their final resting place where they should be. Consequently, the same face, the front face, is going to have the column in the opposite direction also consistent, which means buttons number nine, six, and three are finished and they're in the correct position. It is possible to start your step seven in this way, where you already have two columns ready. As we turn the cube in the opposite direction, we will find that the other two corner pieces on the top face are not positioned where they need to be. That's okay. We're going to take our face that has the two correct corners in the top row, and we're going to position them on our left side so that it is now the two columns are on the left face. And we're going to perform the exact same algorithm. L prime U R U prime L U R prime R U R prime U R U two R prime and voila at this point we're going to have all of our columns solved. The purpose or the goal of step seven is to position all of the corners in the upper third row exactly where they need to be. When we think of columns, we think of ancient structures and they were extremely important to support the entire building. Now our cube has been reinforced, so to speak, since the roof itself is now supported by having all of the columns in their proper position. In other words, if I was to examine buttons number seven, four, and one on each of the face, whether it's an out, uh, on each of the outward facing sides, they will be consistent. In other words, they will be in their final resting spot. The top edge pieces on the third floor will be out of alignment. We will solve that in step eight. For now, we have completed the first step on the bottom, which is the cross and the daisy. Those are the steps number one and two. Step number three was about completing the corners on the bottom face, which we've done. Step four is about completing the third floor. And that means putting the edge pieces that are to the left and right of each center piece. So they are buttons number four and six, they have been finished. Now, we have finished our buttons number seven and nine in a three-dimensional way, so that they're matching and they're in their final spot where they need to be. Quarter pieces are special because they have three stickers to them and they belong to three different sides. So we want each of the corners on the, or each of the three stickers on the corner piece to line up and match diagonally to each corresponding face. Here I have my corner piece matching to the top center. The same corner is matching diagonally to the front corner piece, the front center piece, pardon me, and also my third sticker on my three-sided corner is matching diagonally to the center piece on the left face. And if I examine each of my corner pieces on the top row on the upper floor, we will find that they're all matching and they are in their final resting place. You are very, very close. The next step we're going to do is number eight, and that is to take our edge pieces on the top row and position them and therefore solve the cube. Remember, this is a cumulative process. And if you find that you have made an error and the cube, the cube is scrambled, that's fine. We want to go back and in order to finish step number seven, we may need to make sure that six or five needs to be 
redone. If you ever get lost, go back to the beginning. Is my step one, two, and three completed? Is my first floor done? Yes, it is. Then we can go back to step number four, which is the second floor completion. And if our second floor is complete, then we move on to completing number five, which is starting to work on our shingles and the roof structure, the roof side of our, of our pretend building. Keep going, you're doing great.